so today, Volkswagen have uh, finally copped for uh, their vehicles not really passing emissions, but actually being so clever that they figure out they're undergoing an emissions test out in the fields that were once they've been sold or whatever. And they don't pass emissions, they just figure out their undergoing test and tweak the fueling in the injector system to suit. And here's the truth about this. There's a couple of aspects to it. Number one, Volkswagen are not alone. The fueling systems won't be made exactly by Volkswagen, as it were. They'll be made by Bosch or somebody like that. These will be shared throughout several cars, several different manufacturers. So that's the first thing. They're not alone. They're all at it, which is why Volkswagen are happy to admit to it. Number two, uh, you can either have a motor vehicle with an internal combustion engine uh, tuned perfectly for giving power and driving you along normally, or you can have it tuned to um, give low emissions, low toxins, so like the diesel case, all that toxic dust that's in the air that it pumps out, you can tune it to give less of that. Of course, it's rubbish power. Instead of 115 brake horsepower and, I don't know, 150 newton meters or whatever of torque, I forget what the numbers are, but it could be down to two thirds of that if you're trying to tweak the engine, the engine's tweaking itself to pass the emissions tests. Um, a really a short story. Um, a motor vehicle I had uh, was petrol, but it, it just so happens it was a petrol engine. It applies just the same. Um, in common with a lot of the motor vehicles at the turn of the century, year 2000, uh, the manufacturer tried to tweak it to make its emissions a lot better. Uh, this motor vehicle was normally capable of 115 miles per hour. It didn't use a clever fueling system like fuel injection, like almost everything does now. It used carburetors, which isn't easily changeable. So, cut a long story short, um, it wouldn't go over 60 miles an hour. Remember, I told you its top speed of 115 uh, on certain nights, atmospheric conditions, cool, wouldn't go over 60 miles an hour and it was, um, it, it never got running. I bought it nine years old and with 9,000 miles on the clock and it, and it never got running until I got it and fixed the carburetion. But I bet you its emissions are slightly worse now. It's still good enough to pass but slightly worse than it was. So there's the problem. The vehicle manufacturers are squeezed into corner by politicians who know nothing technical. A technical conversation with a politician won't last for very long. Um, and they've squeezed them and squeezed them and squeezed them, especially Germany, of course, because they like to think they're really green. Their politicians have really squeezed them on the emissions front. And the car manufacturers have been frightened to say, well, look, you know, we might not be able to, to meet the next batch of emissions if you're going to keep keep squeezing us down on it. But by changing taxation classes and so on, they forced the manufacturers in order to sell enough cars. Nobody wants to sell a car that's high in tax, in, in running tax, to, to run it every year. In the UK, it's road tax. You'll have something else other places. Um, so they've been forced, the manufacturers, to start to get their cars to be clever enough to fool the emission systems and to know when they're being tested. Um, and that's it. You can either have the engine not giving out half the power, which means everybody will be putting the foot down and on a motorcycle twisting the throttle back more. You can either have it produce less power and better emissions output, less toxins, or you can have it slightly more toxins but more power. Uh, you can't have both. And, and that is just how it is. And Volkswagen and the governments will eventually come to an accommodation where they have a transition phase where basically everyone eventually have an electric motor to help the car along and that will per mile reduce the emissions. Though not, you know, an engine running at 1000 RPM will still give a certain amount of emissions but it'll have an electric motor to help it in practice so per journey it'll be less emissions. That is the sensible way to go. No point in blaming Volkswagen for this. They were squeezed into corner by politicians and politicians learn what you're talking about. You either have power or you have low emissions. And if you squeeze the power uh, side by the emissions, um, people use more gas because they put their foot down more to make up for the lack of power. And I assure you, that a badly running vehicle with low power will actually in practice emit more toxins because people are giving it some welly. That's it. That's the truth about it.
Thanks for watching and listening.